Welcome. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how teachers can share the exact same exam bank practice test with multiple students. This feature was designed to enable educators to deliver an identical review test to a group of students, creating an opportunity for teaching moments using one standard test as a common reference point. Let's get started. The first step is to find a test you want to share. To do this, simply open either a unit test or an entire course review test on ExamBank. Let's take a look at a unit in Grade 9 Math called Linear Relations. We need to sign in with a username and password. You can now go through and answer the questions if you'd like, or you can just skim the content to see what's there. Exam bank questions are all in line with provincial curriculum, so I'm just going to skip down to the bottom of the test and submit it to get to the next step. On this results page, again, scroll down to the end. We're looking for a form with a heading intended for teachers that looks like this. There's a link here that we can copy and paste and send out to students. Notice that it's got a unique reference number attached to it, which will be helpful later when we want to review the results. I'll copy the link with a shortcut. You can share this link with your students via Google Classroom, a school webpage, or by email, however you choose to communicate with them. When you share it, remind them to email the results back to you when they're done. Now I'm going to go ahead and paste the link I just copied into my web browser. Here, your students would log in with their username and password. Notice this is a replica of the test we were just working on with the same questions in the same order. Students would see this too when they click on the link you shared with them and log in. While I'm here, let's quickly answer a few questions so I can show you the form students will use to share the results with you. Here it is. So let's say for the purposes of this video that I'm a teacher who has shared this test with 10 of my students and they've now completed it and emailed me their results. I'll find one of the emails from ExamBank results and use the link from that email to get my overall results page. Here's the link I need. Okay, so I'm now at this master results list. It's showing me every result ever shared with me. This list is sortable and I can see there's a way to sort by reference number which allows me to view that Math 9 Linear Relations Practice test that I handpicked earlier to share with my students. You can see that I also had shared an English grammar test with multiple students as well, and that test has a unique reference number of its own. It's easy for me to go in and review how each student performed on their exam, since I'm familiar with each question already. Let's open a test to see the answers this student keyed in. To use this insight to its greatest potential, I can look for areas that were problematic for multiple students and address those in a future lesson. Also, because this is exam bank, we know there are usually detailed explanations for students to refer to after their test has been corrected. It's reassuring to know that they can use these to jumpstart their understanding of the questions they answered incorrectly. We hope you'll find this ability to send a group of students the exact same practice test helpful. And thanks for watching.